Hey guys, it's Clean Kano here for a movie update. And today's movie update's a today's movie update is a VHS DVD and Blu-ray update for September 14th, 2020, and which on which on Saturday, um Saturday, um September um 12th, um I went to Goodwill's. I went to my local Goodwill store. I picked out. Seventeen VHS tapes. Um. Six DVDs and one Blu-ray. Or you could count maybe. Um. Eighteen VHS tapes since one to two tape set. And then on Sunday. I got a DVD from Kroger on Sunday. So I have a total of. 17 VHS tapes, 7 DVDs, and 1 Blu-ray to show, so yep. So anyways, let's stop wasting time, let's get on to the update. First we're going to start with the VHS tapes. July 6, 1995, and for some reason, it says this movie's rated G on the ink logo, but this movie's actually rated PG, so they made a mistake. And here's the other clamshell I bought. This is the Walt Disney Home Entertainment VHS release. I do know Tyler Trester 2 is back, has this tape. Has the original owner's name, but no need to return this tape to her. Um, December 7th, 2002. Now let's get on to the slipcover cases. Purse from Blockbuster on November 8th, 1999. This is a navy, dark blue or navy blue VHS, which is pretty cool. The third fourth week of night time nine. April 5th, 1996, so this one's a layer reprint. This is a Ryan Home Video EP mode tape. It has the red lid since it's an EP mode tape. February 3rd, 1995. 
I used to have the Clamshell VHS release of this movie, but now I got got back in the collection, which is, this one's the Nighttime One VHS release. This is under the adult action category. And this movie's covers by 20th Century Fox, even though even though there's no Warner Brothers or 20th Century Fox logo to begin this movie. Um, November 10th, Nighttime 4, even though this is a Nighttime 1 VHS. Next up here is the 1, 2 tapes, and this tape was actually, had a shrink wrap on the box, but it was open from the bottom. This movie's three hours long, so it's a pretty long film. Has the same owner from the Rascal VHS. Both these tapes are printed off the 22nd week of 1999. This one's a Disney LP mode VHS. January 10th, Nighttime 5. This is a Columbia Pictures movie. The twenty first week the twenty first week of nighttime eight, even though this is a nighttime four VHS, this one's a reprint. Has GR's right on it. This is an MGM we really um under the Pathé Entertainment label. May 1st, Nighttime 2, even though this is a Nighttime 1 VHS. This is a Polygram Home Video re-release from Nighttime 8. I do know this VHS was originally released by RC Clone Pictures Home Video, but this one's the Polygram Home Video re-release.
And this movie is pretty rare because this movie has not been released on DVD yet, I don't think. I don't see a print on this tape. The 18th week of 1996, and this is a full model for some unknown video store. Columbia Pictures movie. First from Blockbuster on September 14th, 1995. Has the hologram on it. The fourth week of Night Tonight 4. This one's a blockbuster former rental. This is a recycled tape, the 49th week of 1999, and it has this week in year card for the 36th week of 1996. So this one's a recycled tape, but this is a 1999 VHS because this movie's from 1998. The 50th week of 1997, this is a forum from Video Star. I do have Tim Allen, um, Men Are Pigs on VHS, and this one's Tim Allen Rewrites America, so I had, I had to go ahead and get this one as well. The 45th, the 45th week of Night High 6, even though this is a Night High 5 VHS. And here's the last VHS for this update. This is an MGM movie. As you can see, the label on this one, they print the, the movie's tile in a really weird way, so it's an error. The April 7th, 1994, even though this, uh, this is originally a 1990 VHS. 
Now let's get on to the to the to the DVDs, which the first six come from Goodwill, which I got on Saturday. Heard this movie's supposed to be pretty good, so went ahead and bought it. This is a Fox Searchlight Pictures movie, and it was also made by the Independent Film Channel, aka IFC. Someone named Ashley Cordy used to own this, but it's mine now. This one, this movie is only 65 minutes, so it's pretty short. This one's from American Air National Pictures. So this is on the widescreen side. This TV was brand new sealed one I bought. It originally came from Walmart, but I already opened it up. And this movie I had on VHS at one point, but the lid was broken, so I had to get rid of that. Now I got a DVD copy of this movie. Was purchased at a store for five dollars, but got this for two dollars. This next one's a Blockbuster former rental. This one's the Blockbuster exclusive DVD. The Blockbuster date is, or the date says, March 17, 2007. This one's a Dimension Films movie. And this movie was originally released by MGM, but but only for theatrical theater rights. Here's the last DVD I got from Goodwill. This one's an MGM movie. And finally, here's the DVD I got from Kroger's on s yesterday. So I got this for $6. This is a movie I had on VHS, but so I, I, I'm going to replace that VHS with this DVD copy. This is a 2018 re-release.
But I think this DVD might still have the same masters as the 1998 DVD or something like that. And finally, here's the one Blu-ray that I got from Goodwill on Saturday. This is the first time I ever bought a Blu-ray from Goodwill. I think this code already expired. And that's it for my VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray update for September 14th, 2020. Hope you liked this video, and see you later, guys.